Hello and welcome to your practice. I'm in Bali, pretty happy about it. Recently taught a retreat and am just now enjoying, enjoying coconuts and jackfruit and rice fields and yoga. I get really inspired to move and to breathe here. There's so many excellent teachers and inspirations around. So today just going to share with you just a little bit of new movement, always trying to come up with something new. People ask me often like, how do you always come up with, you know, you're always doing something new and I have to stay fresh in my practice. Like I like to constantly be finding new ways to move and invigorates, um, invigorates me and it keeps me in my body. Sometimes I, my mindfulness begins to wane if I continue to repeat patterns. So I like to switch it up. So I hope that you enjoyed today's class. And yeah, we'll try to switch it up a little bit and see what happens. Let's begin in a seat, maybe hips to heels. And palms just gently up in the lap. It's a gesture of receiving or surrender or allowance. Noticing what resonates with you, what associations you make with that. Of a loosening of a grip. It's so interesting, I can like say these these things that I don't know who's watching or what's really happening, but I know that we're threaded through with our humanness. And one thing that it's like to be a human is to cling and to grip and to want things to be a certain way. So it's normally pretty appropriate general statement to encourage some allowance, some opening. Where can you make space? Just sit with that for a moment. Breathe into that for a moment. It's actually quite a salve and a tonic to know that these things aren't personal. It's the way that we are. We do it differently, but that we're threaded through with so much sameness. It just actually makes us part of. Often the things that make us feel like we're different are the same things that actually make us connected. And in our practice today, just explore, stay curious, and see if you can release a little bit of the doing it right, the doing it a certain way, making a certain shape, I'm just gonna thread through some poses and see what happens and it will look different for each of us. Even though it's threaded through with some of the same. We're actually going to begin in downward facing dog. So go ahead and find slowly Find your way there. So really placing your hands. Hasta banda, meaning there's a little bit of like a gecko palm, a suction through the center of the palm while the rest of the hand is really pressing down. It has some reciprocity, a pushing and a receiving. And then the hips come up and back. The heels are heavy, but they don't need to go down to the ground. You're just going in that direction. You can bend the knees as much as you'd like. Really push through the hands. Get long from the wrist creases all the way through to the sit bones and then sit bones down through the heels. And then inhale, lift the heels around the lower back, the mid back and the upper back and come into plank pose. And you might need to switch, lengthen or shorten your plank pose a little bit. Pull the heart through the shoulders just slightly and then continue to find that gecko palm in the hand. The crown of the head reaches forward, the heels reach back, and then bend the knees, lift the sit bones, and press through the hands, downward facing dog. And move between these two poses a couple times and move with your own breath. The heels can lift, the lower back puffs up, mid back, upper back as you come forward. 
And maybe in plank pose, you can slightly pull the hands together and slightly dial them towards one another. You can also have the knees down here. Do what is feels fluid in your body. And then bend the knees, find your way downward facing dog. This may be a, a stronger practice, but you can modify however you'd like. So make it suit your body. Once more, find your way plank pose. Bend the knees, come up and back, downward facing dog. All right, weight goes into the left foot and press down so much to the left foot that begin to lift through the right foot. The toes are flared, lifting through the right hip or the right inner thigh. And then bend the knee and open the hip. We get a big opening. Press more through the right hand and pull back on the left hip crease. Maybe some big circles, maybe stillness. And then bring the knee towards the nose, puff up the back of the heart, and shift forward, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, up and back, tripod down dog. Standing leg can be bent. And then exhale, a big step through. As the thigh touches the belly, let it like puff up the back of the heart. Big step through, hands on blocks can be great. The back knee is gonna gently kiss down. Press through the front foot, and this may be a little bit different, but whenever you inhale, you're gonna bring the arms wide, like there's air under the wings, and come halfway up, and then exhale, float down. Let's do that a couple times just to feel that. The press is in the front foot. Inhale, press down, and the wind comes in the sails, and come down once more. Only halfway up. Pull back on the right hip crease. And then the hands come together, press down through the front foot, chin to the chest, and you're going to kind of unwind. Unwind the heart. Open the heart. Maybe the gaze goes up. And then exhale, hands go down. Lengthen the front leg, pyramid pose. A couple rounds of breath. You can find stillness or sway here. I'm always a proponent of some swiggles, so. Big breath. And then press down through the hands, step back downward facing dog, however you want to get there. Let's go to the other side. Press down through the right foot so much that the left leg begins to lift. Lift through the inner thigh. And then really slowly bend the knee and open the hip, bend both knees. Now pull back on the right hip crease and press more into the left hand. Maybe even come onto the right fingertips. Just explore. And then exhale slowly, the thigh comes to the belly, the knee comes to the nose, and the back of the heart puffs up. Heel towards the glute. Inhale, tripod down dog. Exhale, step through, big step through in between the hands. The back knee kisses down. Press through the front foot and then inhale, halfway lift, the wings get wide and fold down twice like this. The breath can really help here. This time the hands come together and you slice through center. Press through the front foot, slice through center. Peel, heart open, get long, front sheath of the body, and then exhale the hands sprinkle down. Lengthen the front leg, pour forward pyramid. Sway or still. Thread the poses through with your breath. Plant the hands, maybe puff up the back of the heart and drag the leg back with it long, just an option. Inhale, let's wave forward plank pose. And then to exhale, come all the way down to the earth. However you'd like to get there, knees up, knees down, untuck the toes, hands go wide, chin to chest, puff up the back of the heart, really press the pubic bone down. Puff up the back of the heart and open through the heart, the throat, fold down. Twice more like this. Pubic bone presses down, back of the heart begins to in lift, inflate, and then unfurl, release once more. Every time getting incrementally longer, and fold. 
Hands slide down to the ribs. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. One round of breath. And then inhale, the right leg lifts. This time, step all the way through in between the hands. Be sure that the feet are on train tracks here. We'll leave the back knee up. You can bring it down if you'd like, so always an option. But bend both knees and really find your feet. Inhale, halfway lift, wings wide. And then exhale, fold down. Hands touch, chin to chest. Inhale, slice through center. You can kind of bring the tailbone down towards the back knee and lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Steady breath. All right, inhale, lift the arms up, twist towards the right. Left elbow connects outside of the right knee. Steady breath, pull back on the right hip crease and then spiral the rib cage around the spine. One more inhale. And exhale, untwist, plant the hands, pyramid pose. That should feel good. One inhale, lift the back of the heart. Plant the hands, shift back, downward facing dog. Full round of breath, pedal out. Inhale, right leg lifts. And big step through, in between the thumbs, puff up the back of the heart to give yourself space. Find your feet, and then inhale, halfway lift, wings wide. Exhale, fold, hands touch, bend the knee, kind of scoop the tailbone slightly and slice through center, inhale. Front sheath of the body gets long, open. And then exhale, hands pull down, heart center. Anjali mudra, or maybe Hakini mudra, just the fingertips. Big inhale. Lift the elbows up just slightly and then exhale, spiral towards the left. Right knee or right elbow catches. And there's a big connection there, like the elbow and the knee are pressing into one another. Spine spirals around, ribs spiral around the spine. Long line of energy from the back heel through the crown of the head. And then to exhale, the hands plant down, pyramid, ha. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, left leg comes back, downward facing dog. Let's wave it out. Inhale, wave forward, low back, mid back, upper back, plank pose. And then exhale, find your way down to the ground, however you'd like to do it. You can take chaturanga or you could just gently slither down. Hands go wide and take a rolling cobra here three times. You can also take up dog. Any variation is always welcome. I just can't show them all at the same time. It would be very awkward. <laughs> I could try. Hands slide down by the ribs. Downward facing dog. All right, well, adding on. We're threading through. Inhale, the right leg lifts. This time, bend the knee and open the hip. And let's stay here. Maybe gaze under the left arm, gaze for the left foot. Or maybe you take a little side plank action, wild thing action, lots of different options. So any variation, welcome here. And then the heart spirals down when you're ready. Right hand plants, tripod down dog. So we're moving slow but strong. Most importantly, move like you, and then shift forward really slow. The thigh coming into the belly puffs you up, brings you forward, big step. All right, bend the back knee. Inhale, halfway lift, wings wide. And exhale, fold down. Fingertips come together, tailbone scoops, and then lift through center, unfurl. And then exhale, Hands come all the way, taking a twist. So coming over to the right, find your way. Full round of breath. And then open the wings up. We're gonna take Exalted Warrior. The right hand slides down the right, the back thigh, as you open up here. 
So staying here for a moment, feeling the difference between an inhale, a little bit of an ascension, and an exhale, a little bit of a descend. Once more, inhale and exhale. All right, listen up. The left hand is going to find the ground, but up on up in front of the mat a little bit. And you're gonna take a big step up. Maybe the right hand stays on the sacrum. And we're taking a twist, half moon twist. It's a big pose. Pull back on the right hip crease. Maybe the right arm lifts up. And then exhale, the left knee comes behind the right ankle. Take a seat, well-deserved. Take a twist, seated twist. Steady breath. One more big breath in. And release. Find your way downward facing dog. Untwist, untangle, and take a full round of breath when you get there. Inhale, left leg lifts up. Bend the knee and open the hip. Your choice, staying here or taking side plank or wild thing variation. See if you can do it real slow and dramatic. Full round of breath. And then exhale, heart spirals down, left hand plants, tripod down dog. Exhale, bend the top leg, bring the thigh towards the belly, puff up the back of the heart as you shift forward and plant the foot down. Both knees bend. Inhale, wings go wide, halfway and fold. Scoop the tail slightly, puff up the back of the heart as you slice through and up. Maybe a little shaky, that's all good. And then exhale, twist. Find your footing, find your balance. And if you're shaking, that's just your body trying to figure out where you are in space. It's all good, it's mapping itself. And then wings go wide, lift up and back, exalted warrior. Maybe even the top hand goes behind the head. You can press the head back into the hand. Maybe sink a little bit lower. And then move with breath. So a little bit of a lift on an inhale. And an exhale. Once more in. And out. Right hand comes down and in front and out to the side a little bit. So it's kind of at a diagonal. And then a big shift forward, L shape, twisting towards the left. Left hand on the sacrum. Maybe it lifts up. And really spread the back toes. That back foot being active really helps. Lift through the inner thigh. Woo! And then slowly, the right knee comes behind the left knee. Take a seat. And then you're already there. Take a twist. Steady breath. Hmm. Once more in. And out. Inhale, and release. Find your way, downward facing dog. Wave forward plank pose. And exhale, find your way down to the ground. This time just once. So upward facing dog or cobra pose, one breath. And find your way, downward facing dog. Once more through this sequence, you can add, you can take away. Inhale, right leg lifts, bend the knee, open the hip, stay here for a round of breath or take one round of breath, exploring wild thing or side plank. Tripod down dog, gently, slowly find your way. Exhale, step through. Bend both knees and inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, float down, hands connect. Bend both knees even more and unfurl as you lift up. And exhale, take a twist. Full round of breath in and out. Inhale, press through the front foot and lift up, exalted warrior. Exhale, sink into it. Inhale, inflate, lift, and exhale. Left hand comes 
out in front and to the side, right hand to the sacrum as you come forward, revolved half moon. Maybe bend the standing leg, pull back on the right hip crease and lift the arm, just an option. One more big inhale, lift through the left inner thigh and then exhale, slowly take a seat and take a twist. Breathe into that right hip. Maybe some size. Adding on just a little bit here. Gaze towards the top of the mat. You're going to unwind yourself, but into half moon. So we're going to come forward. You can leave both hands on the ground if you like and take more of an L shape, or you just slowly peel the top leg open. It's like external rotation, and the left arm floats up into half moon. The bottom hand wants to be in front, or it's nice if it's in front and out to the right. That's the most stable position. Maybe gaze is up, maybe it's not. Do your thing. And then slowly we step back and come into reverse warrior. So bend both knees just slightly and then press down in order to lift up and come all the way up and back. And exhale, wave the hands back down. Downward facing dog. This time, let's just wave forward and wave right back. Just rinsing out, bend the knees, hips guide back. And then the right foot plants as the left leg lifts. Bend the knee, open the hip. Take any variation you'd like. Tripod down dog on an inhale. Exhale, big step through. Find your feet first, and then inhale, halfway lift, wings wide. Exhale, float down. Fingers touch, kind of scoop and puff up the back of the heart. Open, and then descend down into a twist. Full round of breath here. Elbow and the outside of the thigh are kissing, pressing one into another. Next inhale, lift up, exalted warrior. And exhale, sink into the hips. Once more, inhale. And exhale, shift forward. Revolved half moon. Any variation, maybe even grabbing the back foot. Slowly finding the earth, seated twist. Three rounds of breath. Mm. And preparing, half moon. So gaze forward, unwind. Left hand plants in front and outside. Maybe both hands plant as you get started here. And then externally rotate the top leg. Maybe there's a bend in the standing leg. Find your own way, half moon. really reaching in all directions in this pose. Bend the standing leg, slowly step back. Maybe both hands come to the ground. So you're kind of in warrior two, but the knees are bent and soft and open all the way up. Reverse warrior. And exhale, come all the way back down. Downward facing dog. Way forward. Plank pose. Find the earth. Unwind one heart opener. And exhale, release. Hands to the side. Press up and back. Child's pose. Three rounds of breath. Mm. 
Keep the hips at the heels and walk the hands back slowly, slowly, then to the knees. Walk yourself up. Toes stay together, knees go a little bit wide, and we're just gonna take some spinal spirals here. So still staying with that fluidity. Like you're mixing in the medicine. So swiggling the other way. Just mixing in the last of the breath and the sweetness of this practice. And come to stillness. Let's take a, just a little twist towards the right. Release and take a little one to the left. And come to the center, maybe switching the seat a little bit to get cozy for a moment. And hands in Anjali Mudra, or maybe Hakini Mudra, fingertips touching. And they're pressing into one another, so much so that the shoulder blades come slightly together on the back. The thumbs kiss the heart, and the heart kisses back at the thumbs. Three rounds of breath, audible exhale, make some sound. <sighs> Thumbs to the third eye. Let a smile spread across your face. Big inhale. And then exhale, pour forward in thanks and gratitude. Suksama. Hmm. Thank yourself for showing up today. Gosh, isn't that always or often the hardest part? So well done. Um, yeah, never regret getting on the mat. So thank you for trusting me. Thank you for joining me. I hope that this class was of benefit and I look forward to seeing you, practicing with you live somewhere in person or seeing you again here on the channel or over at CCY Studio. I, yeah, until next time. Ciao, ciao. I have like yogi, yogi brain right now. Mush, feels good, feels good. Ciao.